as Posh Pisalova has it again with the Sydney Hilliard board. Well, Wisconsin Back. head coach. When you're looking at a team like Wisconsin, they got comfortable against Penn State on Sunday and won that game. And Marissa Mosley said that that's the best they've played all season. Alexis Markowski has all five points for the home team when they lost to Iowa, 93-83, to a game that was 11 days ago. Great feed from Jazz Shelley to Markowski, who's got all seven early on. For the freshman, Alexis Markowski. Oh, just checked into the game is Bella Cravens, and she immediately makes an impact, forcing a turnover to the Huskers, and Hybe off the hooks and in. Sam Hybe, look it. And look at that pass to Moriarty, who rolls it in. He did a good job that time, walling up on Hilliard. She wanted to get to the rim. Nowhere for her to go, right there at the block. She was covered. Post Pichalova's second field goal of the day. Really had to earn that, spinning in the paint. Watch their daughters play in person. There's nothing like that. And full-on support when they look up and see their parents. It's all love. Oh, no. Well, I did love the koala and the kangaroo on the poster. That made it for me. That was beautiful. <laughs> Ashley Scoggin checks into the game and drills a three pretty quickly. Well offline. Nice positioning for a rebound by Douglas, but here comes Nebraska. They can run. Another one with Scoggin. They like that for a reason. And not allowing penetration and finishes at the rim. As for why are they looking, oh, great feed there, perfectly in the paint once again to Hilliard. That's what hurts your zone the most when teams score in the paint. Shramick, a tough shot between two defenders. Taking that cut hard, getting great positioning inside with a strong seal. Hilliard doing exactly what they need her to do. Which worked well for her in the first half, but Nobody's scoring the first two minutes here. Till Ashley Sky lines up a three, her third make of the evening. Right there, Mike, they had to get one of them to go. Probability tells you, but still can't settle for it. Now, is it fool's gold that that one went in? You don't want to settle for taking a bunch more threes. Shramick couldn't handle the pass inside, so Jazz Shelley still scoreless, but dishing the ball effectively. On the receiving end, she'll head to the line for a three-point opportunity. And all of her scoring has mostly come inside. And the ball stolen away by the freshman, Allison Widener. Nebraska on the other end. Widener finishes the deal. We know it's Iowa, and they can score on anybody. But the word she used when they gave up 90 points, two out of three games to the Hawkeyes, was sick to my stomach. Ruby Porter comes away with it. Jazz is up to five. Let's not count out that triple-double possibility just yet. I mean, they want everything to change about Wisconsin women's basketball. And great pass inside to Hybe, who can't finish, but does on the second chance. Well, she did say that the fans in Wisconsin are very supportive. And they are giving her just a full load of encouraging words and emails. It's not like they were instant champions. They were one game above 500 her first year and got better each of the following two seasons. That's why she's going to be magnificent moving forward as the head coach at Wisconsin. It's especially a, a new coach. As the, she sort of said that's not what her plan is because she wants to make sure she knows who the person is and that it all fits with what the program is going to be. <laughs> I bet that's true. That's so funny. Yeah, everything is different culturally, and but it's just beautiful to see the, the game changing. 30-point lead here for the Huskers, and you see Jazz Shelley is on the bench. She was player of the year last year in the conference, so I can't take that away from her, but I, I want to see more as the season progresses teams but it really wasn't that close they were up by much more throughout the majority of the second half they were they just had total control in that game i think jazz shelley has been an x factor for how they play the game and and that's on both sides that's not just offensively speaking that's on defense
defense as well. Another triple. And there goes the bench. They're uh -oh. rowing. Seventy-seven to forty-four. Nebraska gets the win.